Hi, my name is Paolo, and in this quick demo, I'd like to show you how to use the Intelligence View in Salesforce. The Intelligence View in Salesforce is a new feature that just came out in Winter 24. And before you use it, you have to turn it on. So let me show you. First, we want to go to the gear icon and click Setup. Then we want to search for Intelligence. After that, we want to click on Lead Intelligence View Setup. What you need to do next is turn on Lead Intelligence View by toggling this button. That's it, you're good to go. Just a quick note here, it might take a little while for this to reflect correctly on the front end. In my case, after I turned this on, I had to wait a few minutes before clicking on the lead object and then clicking on the intelligence view button. Otherwise, I would get an error message saying that the page could not be found. So let's see what that looks like. If we go back to the front end and we click on leads, we can see that we now have this intelligence view pop up. So we click got it, and then we can click on the intelligence view button. So this is what the intelligence view looks like. It's a really fancy and helpful way of looking and working with your leads. On the top, we have a banner with lots of different options. For example, at the moment, I'm looking at my total leads. I have 23 of them, but I can also look at leads with no activity. And so I can click there and it will filter the list based on this criteria. If I click on this little eye icon, it will even tell me what that criteria is. So in this example, no activity means leads with no completed activities. I also have idle. And so if I hover over that icon, it says leads with past activity, but no completed activities in the last 30 days. We've got no upcoming. This means there are leads with recent completed activity, but no future activity schedule. We also have overdue, due today and upcoming which are leads with activities due in the next 30 days. Now, this is a demo org, so as you can see, I don't really have a lot of lead records, so I'll go back to my total leads. On the right-hand side, I have some more options. I can look at leads that were created this quarter, last month, this week, this month, or I can even put a custom date. I can also filter my leads based on the owner. And on the far right-hand side, I've got two little buttons here. This is for my important leads, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then if I click on the show filters, I actually get a filter component where I can further filter my list view. So important leads is something new that came with intelligence view. Basically, as you can see here on my list of uh, lead records, I've got this new little icon. And so if I click on this icon, I'm essentially marking this lead as important. I'll click on a few more uh, lead important icons here just to mark them as important and then on the top right hand side I'll toggle that important icon and now this will essentially filter my list view to only show me the lead records that I marked as important so this is really cool another thing that you can do in this list view is just have a very nice visual representation of your leads on the right hand side, you've got a few actions. You can email and you can phone them as well. Of course, assuming that you have email and a telephony solution set up. And if you click on the drop down menu next to a lead record, you can then edit the lead or change the owner. As always, if you click on the lead record name, it will take you to that lead record and the lead record itself looks the same as before. So there's no changes here. On the far right hand side, we've got a little cogwheel where you can create your new list view and you can also change the fields uh, that are displayed in your list view. Then next to that, we've got our general refresh button. We've got a little pencil icon that will allow for mass editing just like we could before. Then we've got a new button to create new leads and a, a list view button as well. And this kind of takes us to the old style list view. Well, I hope this was helpful. I'm really excited about using the intelligence view. I'll drop a link in the description of this video with the official Salesforce documentation on this, but I definitely recommend you give it a go. I think your end users would love this. Hope this was helpful. Until next time.